Hi, and welcome back to Ignite Success, where we sit on these white couches and we talk to some really awesome people, people who are doing awesome things in the area. And it's all to inspire you and to motivate you. I'm Sherry Clark, I'm your host, and today I am so happy to introduce Brett Swartz. Sherry, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we uh, had a little chat before and found that we had some things in common, which we'll explore later. But uh, Brent, I was looking at your company, the Capital Gains Tax Solutions, which I hear people, you know, they're selling uh, stuff or, or and they, they have to pay attention to that, right? Because the government does. Absolutely. You know, most high net worth individuals, and when they go to sell their highly appreciated assets, could be a primary home, a business cryptocurrency, they're subject to 25 to 50% of capital gains wow. tax and depreciation recapture. And so we, we provide solutions to help them defer that tax, unlock some freedom, some diversification, so they can create and preserve more wealth or help, you know, their clients or friends or family do the same. Yeah. Yeah. So um, tell us, I, I know ta capital gains tax solution just told us, but what got you into that? What's the backstory here? It's a great, it's a great question. Uh, it started out uh, in the Bay Area of California with my parents buying and building houses, and in you know the search for an entrepreneur, uh, cash flow, passive you know cash flow, and, and freedom with time and energy. And I went on to study and practice multifamily brokers at a place called Marcus and Millichap, doing 1031 exchanges and commercial real estate investing for clients. And then the 2008 crash hit. Mm -hmm. And so we saw a lot of pain and a lot of turmoil as it pertained to people who wanted to exit but felt trapped by what was called a 1031 exchange. And we thought there's got to be a better way. So I went on to see clients, friends, and family lose half or everything over a period of about three years. Wow. And so we said, you know what, uh, maybe there is something better. And, and during our research and, and during our, our, our studies, we found something called a deferred sales trust, which opened up the opportunity to serve clients in a, in a, in a way that unlocks the freedoms they desire, like time, energy, freedom freedom, entrepreneurial freedom, uh, without having to feel trapped by the assets they're selling in order for them to create and preserve more wealth and also make an impact with their wealth for their families and the communities that they, uh, they're a part of. Wow, that's really interesting. You know, as an entrepreneur myself, you know, knowing that you have that there in place to help, to help other entrepreneurs. Fantastic. So um, you came here from California. How long have you been here? About six months. Wow, you're like a, a newbie here. Wow. So what brought you here? You know, a new adventure. You know, my family and I grew up from, all from California, Sacramento and the Bay Area. And we love California for a lot of things. And it's been a wonderful place. But we're looking for a, a new adventure. I think one thing COVID taught us is that life is short, right? Mm. And to go and live, uh, you know, with your dreams and your ambitions. And so my wife and our family decided that the new dream was to get on the East Coast. And what better way to to be in but a place like Florida with the beaches and the places to travel and, and explore. And so we're really feeling blessed to be here. Well, welcome. And, and it is, it is a great place. It's, it's, the weather's beautiful and, uh, the actual scenery is beautiful. I'll, I'll travel and I'll be in places like, you know, I won't name them, but then I'll go there and after being here, it's like, ugh. And then you come back and you see the palm trees and you see the cleanliness of it all. And you're like, oh, it's so good to be back home, you know? Yeah, yeah. I agree completely. Yeah, the beaches have been wonderful. And by the way, humidity hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. Really? I think there's a, I think I would say there's probably an overstatement of how tough the humidity is going to be from Californians. Um, right now, this feels, you know, I won't say completely like Hawaii, but it's just, it, it doesn't feel, and we're in the middle where we're filming this, you know, close to August here. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't feel as bad as I thought. I would say it's half of what I thought it would be. Really? And let's see what happens in August if it gets a little bit worse. But yeah, humidity has been just fine. Well, I'm, I'm glad for that. You know, sometimes it doesn't do real fine for my hair, though. And I hear other people <laughs> make the same complaints, like, ah, the humidity. So, okay, if you could go back, I want to ask you a question. If you could go back to your 25-year-old self, you know, um, what kind of advice would you give? You know, it's a quote by Jim Rohn, uh, and it talks about learning, learning to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. You know, uh, I grew up playing basketball, went to college and had a scholarship for basketball, and then I took an internship at Marcus and Millichap. And it was always about, you know, get the degree or get the scholarship or be the starter on the team or close that first commercial real estate transaction or, you know, find that dream career. 
a lot of external things that, that was the focus. And I would say, you know, when you learn to work harder on yourself, which is your, your health, your finances, your personal development, your faith, your, your family, your um, uh, everything, that, education's a part of it, right? Career's a part of it, right? But it's, it's, it's the more of the character, the internal things that, are, that are, are eternal, that are forever versus just the external, right? Because the externals are, are temporary. So I believe that if you can work harder on ourselves, we're going to grow as leaders and we make a bigger impact and those other things will come but uh, rather than just the external temporary things. And so the, the saying goes, work, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you work harder on your job, you'll make a living. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you work harder on yourself, you'll make a fortune. And the fortune is not just money, although that's great because you make an impact, but it's really about becoming everything that I believe God's created us to be to make as big of an impact to help as many people as we can. So if you were able to go back and tell your 25-year-old self that, and you listened, you think it would have tra uh, changed the trajectory of your life? I, I know it would have, uh, because about 25 years old, I, I joined a Disciples at Men's Bible Study um, at my church there in, in Sacramento, Roosevelt, California. It's called Bayside Church, and there I was discipled and, and led to grow in all of those areas, uh, not just faith, right? And that was that was key, and I think that's a, a key, key way to grow in business or anything else. Have mentors, have those that are in front of you help you to grow, but also focus on those other areas beyond just school or just sports or just the career, the entire leadership uh, development of each, each of us. So. Yeah, we have a lot of different components within us, you know. I mean, in it, it, it is, I call it like a three-legged stool. You do have to have the physical, you have to have the mental, you have to have the spiritual, and they all have to be in balance. And then I think each one of those have their own components, right? Yeah. So... You know, in your answer, you define the success by what? Yeah, I would say defining success would be uh, first identifying the gift that we've been given. We each have been given a few gifts, right? And I believe these gifts have been given to us by, by God. And these gifts are, are to be here to be a blessing and help to others. And so first is understanding what those gifts are. Number two is not just understanding or having that. It's actually maximizing the potential of those gifts. And I believe this is a success formula. And once you maximize the potential of those gifts, then the next part is not just keeping that to yourself, but it's making as big of an impact as you can with many people. So living with faith, not with fear, or not keeping your gifts you underneath, underneath a rock, right? But going out and making a big impact. Um, and then I think as a leader overall, as an entrepreneur, you've got to make sure that you're, that you're, you're, you're building up other leaders, right? And you're not doing this alone. Mm -hmm. And when you do all of those things, and you can apply it to each part of your life, whether it be your family, whether it be to your, your business, whether it be with your clients, when you're using this, what are my gifts? What are the best things I've been given, right? How am I maximizing those gifts, right? Getting the coaching, you know, continuing to learn, continuing to improve, and how I make as big of an impact to reach as many people as I can, that equals that success formula, or even a better way to put it, a fulfillment formula. And then you apply that same thing to your family and that same thing to your friends, your colleagues, wherever environment you're at. Bring your best self with those gifts. Make that impact. The fulfillment and the success follows. Great advice, despite how old you are, right? Uh, yeah. Just just turned 40, so uh, <laughs> yeah. wow. but five children, so I would say that helps to be, I think, a little bit more yeah. mature and older in, yeah. in that sense. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Brett, for coming, for sharing, for... Welcome to Florida. If you want to know more about Brett Swartz, you can go to IWantABuzz.com. And that's it for this segment, and I'll catch you in the next one. With Storehouse Media Group, we are an award-winning publisher, and we are everything books. We take an uh, author who wants to write a book, whether it's with a concept and we help flush it out, develop it, or we will write the book for them, or we edit the book, or we publish the book, and we can market it to bestseller. All of the above, we just everything books. That's what Storehouse Media Group is.